Okay, so next, the next topic we're going to be talking about here is uh, using trigonomic or using trigonometry to find distances. Okay, so this is going to be a word problem. They're all set up. Usually they give you a nice picture, so you don't even have to take too much information out of the word problem. But all right, so what we're looking at is a kite's flying 89 feet off the ground. That seems to be important, right? Um, and it's pulled taut. So the angle of elevation is 54 degrees. So find the length of the line. So write your answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, so they give you um, a lot of stuff right here in the picture. So the picture does most of it for you. So here's your angle of elevation. There's your 89 degrees off or 89 feet off the ground. So it's pretty much set up for you. You just got to know which um, which trigonometric ratio to use. So it it's it's one of the three, right? So it's either got to be the so um, the ka or the toa. Right? You don't got a lot of choices there. So it's one, three, or, or it's one, two, or three. So how do you know which one to pick? Well, here we go. So here's the angle. All right. We're working with the opposite and the hypotenuse. These are the two things that we have. Okay, opposite, and we're trying to find the hypotenuse. So, which one of these three will use opposite and the hypotenuse? That's going to be uh, the so, right? It has the O and the H. So, this is your opposite. We're trying to find the H. So, we know we want to use sine function. Okay? Had they given us something else, we would have tried a different method. Okay, but we're going to use sine function. So set it up, all right? So what it says, so katoa, right? So is going to be sine of the angle. So sine of our angle, which in this case is 54 degrees, is going to be equal to the opposite, which is 89, divided by our um, hypotenuse, which we don't know in this case. Let's just call it x. Let's keep it simple. Okay, well, this is going to be easy, an easy equation to solve. Don't let the trig um, values throw you off anything here. Okay, so what you're going to do, if you're trying to solve for x, how do you do that? Well, you multiply both sides by x. Okay, so here you go. We're going to multiply this side by x. And we're going to multiply this side by x. That's supposed to be an x. Sorry. All right, so in doing that, what's going to happen? These x's are going to cancel with each other. They're gone. Okay. So you're left with 89 is equal to x times the sine of 54. Okay, well, we want x by itself. So next step, get rid of the sine of 54. And because you're being multiplied, you have to divide. Okay, so I'll divide both sides by the sine of 54. That leaves, these two will cancel, okay? leaves me with x is equal to 89 over the sine of 54. Okay, that's a 9, sorry. Okay, uh, we're done. That's pretty much what we got to find out. We got to find out what that value is. Well, that is not one you're going to want to do by hand. You're going to get the calculator out, okay? And on our calculators, they have nice trig buttons there. So if I grab a hold of this, I already took a screenshot of it there, and you take a look here, and you just do 89 divided by sine of 54, that button's underneath the trig button on your calculator, make sure you're in degrees and not radians in the settings, and you're going to get 110.01, it says, alright, and then you got to make sure you want to answer this right, you don't want to do this again, right, so it says right here to the nearest tenth. What does that mean? That means two digits, okay? So, if we're going to the nearest tenth, that's going to be x is approximately, that's what those squiggly lines are for, right? 110.0, okay? I don't know if you have to put the point .0 in there or not. It depends on how picky Alex is going to be. I would put it in there. It won't hurt. Um, otherwise, round, okay? So you got to round right. And that's your final answer, okay? So that... Uh, the length of that sh that um, line is going to be 110 feet. Okay? All right. Good deal.